I love in Rocky Three, just before Rocky fights Clubber Lang, Mr. T, he comes in and Mick threatened to quit. Mick, the trainer's gonna gonna walk out on Rocky. Rocky defended his belt ten times. He'd already defeated Apollo Creed, and he let the success and the the money go to his head. And Mick's packing up his stuff, and I'm leaving you, Rocky. I'm leaving you. Rocky says, where are you going, Mick? I love this statement. Mick says to Rocky, Rock, the worst thing that could possibly happen to a fighter has happened to you. The worst thing, you done got civilized. You used to be hungry, but now you ain't. You done got civilized. You used to be hungry, but now you ain't. The devil wants to put some of us into the wilderness, into the darkness, into Babylon, so that we can get civilized. We used to be hungry, but now we ain't. We used to memorize scripture, and we used to pray, and we used to testify, and we used to declare that we're trusting in God. We used to be a fighter. We used to be willing to get into the ring. We used to be hungry, but now we ain't. And Jesus says, blessed are those that hunger and thirst for righteousness. Oh, that I would be determined like Daniel in verse 8. Oh, that I would be this type young man. I will do what is faithful, not what's fashionable. Oh, that I would leave my attractiveness and my marketability in God's hands. I'm going to eat this food, but not like you eat it. And for 10 days, I'm willing to put God to the test. Why? I'm willing to let God show me that I can be beautiful after this season of eating, regardless of what people may say about me. Determination and holiness. Listen, it begins in the heart. Resolve, verse 8. Determination, verse 8. It begins in the heart. And it begins by asking this question. Who do I belong to? And in light of who I belong to, what must I do? And so in Babylon, as everybody else is eating that food, and drinking that wine, and getting that education, and wearing them clothes, and getting that bling... Daniel says, not in my heart. You can put me in Babylon, but you're not going to separate me from my God. The problem with so much of the American church is that we've become overly civilized. God, meet us on our terms. God, here's what we want, no more, no less. And we're not hungry anymore. And it shows in our prayers. And it shows in our giving. And it shows in our witness. We're not hungry anymore. Oh, that God would make us hungry for things the world can never give us.